Browser, browser world. So let's go ahead, guys, and we're going to do that quick drawing of Kyrie Irving. Okay, so for this exercise, guys, we're going to need a, a gray Crayola and a black Crayola. So these are the two markers that I'm going to be primarily using to do my picture with. Now, also may use this black marker, and this is just if I need to do like, um, if I need to cover a large area with dark. So I'll use this marker here. And then also I have one other, I have a, a Sharpie here. So let me get that out. So we, we're going to need a Sharpie at the end of our drawing, and that's just for fine line work and details, okay? So let me show you guys how easy it is to draw today. Um, what I like to do is I like to think of things as a basic idea first, okay? Um, the basic idea. Basically, it's this. I keep using the word basic, don't I? If you look at my drawing, I want you guys to follow my cursor here, okay? You can see it on the screen and uh, actually on the reference picture. The basic idea is, okay, how is this shape? So if you look at my cursor kind of go around the outside of the face, I'm looking for a basic shape here. And then once I do a basic shape, I look then for the expression that the face is making. And then from the expression, then I build the features around kind of the expression. So it's a very simple process. So I, I think a picture is worth a thousand words. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and test my marker just to make sure we have a good ink flow here. Okay, that sounds good. And we'll get started. So we'll start here. What do you mean, Bob? No. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start with the basic face shape. So this will be the, the top of the head here. So we'll draw a line here. Okay. Just like so. Okay. Just like so. Okay. Now from here, we're going to do a line like so, just to do the ears. Okay. Okay, now from here, we'll go ahead and we'll draw the bottom section of the face. And I was pretty much using a broken line to get the basic idea. And then from the basic idea, you can see the specific ideas. So here I'll draw the, the, the neck here. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the jersey here. Okay. All right, so guys, we pretty much have our general idea down, our basic idea of what Kyrie Irving would look like if it was just a silhouette of his face. And that's a good word right there, silhouette, because it's the, 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 the facial structure without any features. If we colored this in all black, what would it look like? So we want that feature first so we can have our map to how we want to go. And no matter how you choose to caricature your drawing, in other words, like me, I have a very, uh, what's the word, Li a realistic form of drawing, a realistic style of drawing. So I don't go too far out as far as um, making the features bigger or smaller or stuff like that. I kind of do more like a, a comic book style of caricature. Now, there's also the style where you'll see 
people make big faces and big noses and big features and still the same idea can apply to your drawing as well you just have to decide how your face is going to be shaped before you start adding features now let's go ahead guys and i'm going to turn my paper just to the side because the next step as i pointed out to you earlier is going to be what your what your general expression is of your face okay so I'll start, let's just say we start with the eyebrows, okay? So we'll do something like this. Okay. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do the nose here. Okay, then we'll go ahead and then we'll do the mouth here. So let's go ahead and draw the mustache first. Okay, then we'll go ahead and we'll draw the mouth. So you see guys, with just a general, from a general understanding or a basic, hey, 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 what's going on? We're doing Kyrie today. So just with a, a basic understanding of our general shape, my mind was able to put together, piece together, A quick little cartoon of Kyrie okay now what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna draw the bridge of the nose here so let me look at my shape real quick I'm gonna say something like this here it's gonna be like a little a little there we go just like that okay now what we can do here is we'll draw the eyes here so we'll go like so one two The separator over the eye here. Okay, and then we'll just put the bottom part of the eye here like this. Okay, we'll put the side of the nose here. And look at there, guys. We got a pretty good little cartoon picture and darkening the eyebrows here of Kyrie Irving. Okay, <laughs> oh man, yeah. Okay, now that we have that part down to a science pretty much, guys. I'm going to turn my paper forward so you guys can see my general idea, okay? And then from there, we'll just go ahead and we'll start um, we'll start shading our picture in, okay? I don't know. I thought about doing this in full color. So let me see. Maybe I can do some color for you guys. So for the color aspect, what I'll do is I'll just get out my... I like to use these twisty crayons. They're cool for doing the caricatures with. Okay, so I'll just kind of roll out the end here and then I'll show you how I, I kind of work it. So what I'll do is I'll use the end of my cray the, the very end of the crayon. And then I like to build a border kind of around my picture first, like this. I'll kind of outline all my darks first. 
Okay, so I'm just outlining those darks. So give me a second here. Everywhere where I want my, I want to show a contour in the face, I'll put the darks. Okay, just like so. Like that. And this here. And this is uh turns out to be a quick coloring lesson as well, guys. And then what I'll do now is I'll go back over it with a general like light shade. I don't want to go as dark as my as my contour shade that I did at first. So just kind of rest your hand and go lightly over the whole picture so that you don't leave like white on the paper. You know, you want to kind of color in all the square inch or all the picture just like this here. Relax, take your time. This is my technique I use when I'm on, when I'm out drawing on location. A little something I came up with. <laughs> Okay, we're just about done here, guys, with our initial shade. We'll go over it one more time here. Okay. So now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do... I'm going to get out my... I think he has very dark color eyes, so I'm going to use a dark brown here to kind of color those in a little bit. So let's go ahead and bring those eyes in. It's like so. No problem. So we made them just a little bit dark right there. Okay. And you know what we're going to do also? We're going to go ahead and darken this part in because his hair is not really long on this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and color all the way around here. And then what we'll do at the end of the picture, we'll come back and... We'll give him some hair. We'll just use like a black crayon and do it that way.
Okay. Okay, guys, so the next part of our drawing that we're going to do, I'm going to get out a, I don't know, maybe I can use a brown. I'll use this marker here. And this is like a kind of like a burnt sienna marker. And really what it is, is I don't know if you guys have ever been to the store and you've seen those markers that color in the furniture, but they have really good colors in them. So they come with like three different colors. They come with um, kind of like a light brown, a mid-tone brown, and it comes with these three colors in it. And you can really color furniture with them. That's what they're used for. But I'll use them to make caricatures. So I'll do like like a shade like so. See? So I'll, I'll start outlining my contours with, my, with these markers here. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do here, guys, is we're going to start doing our darks, okay? So for the darks, what I'll do is I'll use like a Sharpie marker here. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let me get my Sharpie out. And we're going to darken in the beard real quick. So let me just do a little spot right there. Okay, so now what we'll do here is we'll just... We're just darkening in the beard, mustache, etc. Almost there, guys. Okay. And then we'll just darken it in a little bit more here at the bottom. Just kind of color it in. Cool. All right, then we're going to darken in the eyebrows as well. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get out my, if I can find it here which I should be able to. I got my black crayon. I'm going to use that for the hair. I don't want to use a marker this time because I think a marker will go down a little bit too powerful. So what I'll do here is I'll just kind of scribble and color in like lightly over the brown. One thing about these, uh, make sure you get a good wax-based crayon. I recommend uh, the Crayola crayons because they do color uh, well on top of each other. You don't want to go really hard on this part though, okay? So 
So just like a soft little coloring in. When you do a short haircut like this one. I'm almost there guys. Just give me a few more clicks here. Okay. Now let me get out my Sharpie, my fine tip here. I'm just going to darken the eyes just a little bit. And maybe the eyelash line here. And then we'll put like a little bit of dark on the side of the mouth to make that mouth stand out. Okay, let's go ahead and do some fine lining on this beard. Cool. all right now what we're going to do next we're just about done with the drawing guys so i want to take that where's that marker i just had right here i'm gonna go over this top lip real quick like this and it's going to add a little bit of contour and dimension there which is awesome Put a little bit of shade under here. Okay, and then a little bit right here. Okay, and now let's go back here and we'll do this because it really stands out on the drawing. Just like so. Okay. And then last but not least, I'm going to take out a marker again, my Sharpie. And I like to do my hair patterns with these. This is my weapon of choice when I do this. So I'll just kind of scribble a little bit. I'm just kind of going in all kind of little directions here. Cool. Okay. Now, guys, the only thing left really to do on this drawing, is we're going to add just a few little lines on the outside of the beard here. Because I like to shoot for that realistic look. That's just my particular style. Uh, perhaps you just like to do like, you know, you're a person that will stop at maybe the, base, the, the real basic idea of your drawing. Um, I like to go a little bit more in depth, so you guys forgive me if you don't want to go in depth with me. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So now the last thing to do is to actually we're gonna put we're gonna go ahead and color his jersey. Now, in case you guys did not know, Kyrie doesn't play for the. Uh, for the uh, Cavaliers anymore. He is now with the uh, Boston Celtics. So I'm going to get two markers out here. Let me see if I can find the other one here. I know it's here somewhere. Wait, I think I got one in here. Ah, I have one. Okay, so we're going to use this. And make sure you guys can see. I'm going to kind of color in my jersey here. Okay. And then I'm going to use this other green here. Let's go a little bit darker. And then 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my paper up just a little bit so you can see because we're going to put the name right here. All right, so then I can use this marker. And then I'm going to put this here. Just putting the Celtics on the shirt here so you guys can see. Okay, so we put the Celtics on there. Okay. Mm -mm. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead. And we're going to put the name of our cartoon here. So, woo. Okay. So, we'll put Kyrie Irving right here. Or just put Kyrie. So, it's going to be K-Y-R-I-E, I believe. Let me make sure that that's the, I believe that it is right. Yes. K-Y-R-I-E. Uncle Drew. So, I'm just going to go like this. Okay, and now we'll just use this this green here. Add a couple of little little bit of green to that that name, so it'll match this. You know, this is him now. And where is that black crayon? I'm just gonna go over this a little bit darker here. And then after that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and close out our drawing. Just like that. Okay. So, guys, last but not least, let me just sign my work here. So, we'll put the name here. And we'll put 2017. Because we're about to close the year out. Can you believe it's going to be a new year here in just a little bit? And uh, guys, there you have it. So that was my uh, my quick cartoon drawing of Mr. Kyrie Irving from the uh, Boston Celtics. No longer with the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs>